Hello, this is a Squarespace do-it-yourself tutorial, and today we're going to make a video um, banner image using the Fulton template. Um, and the reason that we're able to do this is not so much because of the template, but because of this fantastic script by um, you know Space Code Snippets Video Backgrounds. Let's see if we can right there. This these guys right here made this amazing lightweight script that basically replaces your banner image with a background. Um, they said it works on all templates. I haven't tested it on all of them. I've just used it on Fulton, um, but you can go ahead and test it. They've got two different scripts actually. They've got one for the banner image right here and another one for cover pages which is slightly different. Um, Again, I haven't tested the cover pages one out, but feel free. They both function um, pretty much exactly the same way. So the first thing that we need to do um, is make sure that we've got an MP4 video uh, loaded onto the site, which we do right here. And we'll load that the same way we do any sort of um, jQuery plugin or any regular file onto the site video. Make that text into a link, upload a file, uh, so the reason you want it to be MP4 is because that's the most widely recognized format for browsers um, for video backgrounds. Uh, MOV works on some of them, I know it doesn't work on Firefox, um, MP4 I've been able to um, figure out works works the widest. So definitely want to use that for your file format. Um, if the video you want to use is not an MP4, there's plenty of online video converters. I like Cloud Convert um, just because it's simple and free, but uh, you'll want to make it into an MP4 just to make sure that works everywhere. And then there's a 20 megabyte upload limit on uh, Squarespace. So you want to make sure that it's smaller than that, which you'll definitely want to keep the file size um, as small as you can just for performance issues and load times. Uh, so once we've got that upload done, copy link address and just save that like I did over here. Um, just basically save it somewhere so that you have it um, ready to be pasted into the plugin. And then you'll want to create the page that you'll or the the series of pages that you want to use this on. You can use this on regular individual pages, or in this case, I'm using it um, for an index page, which in Fulton index pages will read um, the banner background images and the content from this page over here. So like if we edit this page here, So this is our video header page and that content shows up on the video index page and um, it will show up on top of our background video when we're done here. So the next thing that you want to do is make sure that you have jQuery enabled on your site and do that by going to settings, advanced, code injection, and this code is what you want. Um, oops. This code is what you want right here. So Squarespace, search for the plugin JS, which is always on their site and search JS. You don't have to upload either one of those. You just copy and paste this code and then whatever um, Google or whatever jQuery library you want to use. I'm using 2.1.1 for this. So make sure that's in your code injection. So it's injected onto in the header of every page. Then come back to your pages and you want to create um, whatever page system you want to show your video background on. So uh, in this case, I'm using an index page that reads these pages, but the index page is actually the one that produces the banner image based off the thumbnail of this page. But since this is the case, this is the page that uses the banner image. And this script basically says, take the banner image and use this video instead. We want to include that script 
in the advanced page header code injection on this page. So make sure we got banner videos, yep. Copy the whole script. Right there. And then you'll notice this variable URL right around line 14 here, your URL here, that's where we put our video um, file address. Oops. There we go. And hit save. Um, so the next thing that we'll want to do is we'll want to make sure we have a video or a background image in here. And just to make sure, or just to show you why. So let's go over here. So you can faintly hear this music in the background. Like some sort of horns and then there's a guy yawning. My video is playing in the background right now, but there's no banner image to replace. So it's just hitting the audio and there's no actual height to the image. And the reason for this is Fulton um, background images, or the Fulton banner image, it doesn't add 240 pixel padding height on either side of this until it reads a background image from this guy over here. So if we upload a thumbnail image right here, use this awesome 4th of July guy. Save that back over here and now we've got our video with um, our overlay text on top just like a banner image for Fulton and it will loop uh, it will automate autoplay that's all run by the script um, and that's basically just that simple again you use the script from these guys over here they've got two different ones banner image one um, and a content page or a cover page one. Again, these guys are amazing for doing that and for just serving it up uh, for everybody right here. And then you'll want to make sure you have a thumbnail image, your video goes here, and that's pretty much it.